Hello, Eon here. Let's discuss something more illogical than pulling the triggers on twin pistols upside down with your pinky fingers. Nick Studio 10. The cheap, lazy production on Nick's part to appease the fame-hungry kids of top dog executive producers and... A half ass response to Cartoon Network's new sketch comedy show, Incredible Crew. Just take a look at Nick Studio 10's official Facebook fan page. One of their taglines is the less than humble, Nick Studio 10 is better than Incredible Crew. 20 years ago, Nickelodeon reigned supreme in the teen sketch comedy genre with all that. Now that the genre is a complete and utter graveyard and Cartoon Network is picking at the corpses, Nick feels the need to follow their example. You just can't get over the fact that you passed up Adventure Time, can you, Nick? But instead of taking cues from their heyday, Nick's scraping the bottom of the barrel in the worst possible way. Enjoying an episode of SpongeBob? Get ready for Nick Studio 10 to unceremoniously interrupt a mediocre catch cow with a group of nameless, talentless kids performing sketches that iCarly would scoff at and spit on. Truly, Nick, you know the teeny boppers watched iCarly for the vague hope of seeing Freddy and Sam start making out with each other, right? The web show wasn't even the central focus of the series. Nick Studio 10 is taking iCarly sketches and trying to transform them into a show all its own. Disney already tried something similar with So Random. Look at where that is now. <laughs> Back to the concept of it being intrusive. Nick Studio 10 is that pimple a self-conscious kid gets on the night of their big date. Nobody wants it there! This isn't just about giving Nick Studio 10 flack, though. It's also about getting Nick to listen to their customers. People, think about it. Nickelodeon will have to address the topic of Nick Studio 10 eventually, especially if the kids in it are related to executive producers. And there's further fodder. If you've seen the videos made by the Archfiend on this very topic, there's some fairly incriminating stuff on their part in regards to just how poorly the group takes criticism towards their work. When it comes to spamming their Facebook page with how desperately you want to see it taken off the air, don't just talk about Nick Studio 10. If we're going to get Nick to look at its dirty laundry, let's show it the entire load. Tough Puppy fans, Robot and Monster fans, Penguins of Madagascar fans, don't we want to know what's up with the eclectic and bizarre scheduling and what's up with all the strange hiatuses? Let's not forget that Tough Puppy's been on hiatus for close to an entire year, not to mention Fanboy and Chum Chum. Nickelodeon, instead of greenlighting and pushing something a number of your viewers almost pretty much unanimously hate, why not air and push programming that can and would? give you ratings and positive feedback. SpongeBob may be the king of the mountain when it comes to your animated programs and your merchandising blocks, but you don't even need SpongeBob to sell merchandise. You could sell merchandise with SpongeBob's face on it 50 years from now. He's become as iconic to American culture as Mickey Mouse. The only way to compete with Cartoon Network is not to try to follow their stead with bringing up stuff like Incredible Crew, trying to compete with their attempt at live action. Look at their track record with live action Nickelodeon. That's not where their bread and butter is. If you want to successfully compete with Cartoon Network, the way to do it is through animation. Let the newer animated programs shine. Give them a chance. Let them run their course. You've already found some success with Penguins of Madagascar. Look at the ratings for Kung Fu Panda and the fact that you've resurrected Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Keep pushing in that direction. And someday you'll find another hard hitter, something that can and will give Cartoon Network a run for its money. You're just not going to find it by competing against Cartoon Network's lackluster attempts at live action. 
It's just not gonna happen. I just hope you kids on Nick Studio 10 weren't too enamored or keen on the thought of finding some sort of career above and beyond what you're doing with that sketch comedy show. It's not going to happen with Nick Studio 10. You'd be better off just taking your gig to YouTube and setting up shop there.